today we're making grilled cheese sandwiches. And so first you take the oven and you face it towards the sun. And then you um, let it preheat for about three hours. And just like your oven at home, this is going to be really hot. So you're going to want to use an oven. Then. And in case you're wondering, anything that you can cook in your oven at home can be cooked in the solar oven. And it's earth friendly because it uses the sun's energy instead of fossil fuels. And this is Evergreen 6's solar panel. It was installed in 2006 thanks to a PGE Solar Schools grant. Our solar panel produces clean energy that helps us to power our school's computer lab. This website shows how much solar energy our school is generating right now. Right now it's about 950 watts of power coming out of our solar panel. What a paperback swap is, is we have books that we don't exactly want or need anymore and we send them and we register them online and, we, and then we'll send them to other places that want these books and have like libraries that could use them and they send us books that they don't use anymore or they're get, brand new. And that we and we get titles that we want and feel like we could use. Evergreen Six is saving the scratch paper from the printers that don't really make this anymore. Yeah, people waste a lot of scratch paper, like this. We get free cardboard from Costco for our science fair. And after we're done with it, we recycle. So we are saving the planet and getting a good education. Hi, did you know that you're helping the earth a lot just by recycling? 90% of our waste here is uh, recyclable or compostable. We use the money from alum aluminum and plastic to for our field trips, and we're helping the earth. Most people say they don't care about the earth and they litter on the ground, but we care because we're helping the earth by recycling. And yeah, you can recycle these plastic water bottles, but it still takes some of, up some of our earth's valuable resources to go through the recycling process. And that's why it's better to reuse. And that's also why everything has its own reusable water bottle. So remember, reduce, reuse, and recycle. At Evergreen, we like to take pictures of the Evergreen water bottle in different places. We've been to almost every continent except Antarctica. And this is a rainwater diverter. It collects water when it rains. It comes down the gutter and into here. We use it to feed our worms and our composting. Gardens. And this is our red worm farm. We have 20,000 worms in each bin. We mix it all around and so the worms can also get some like some fresh air I can, I can say and like they like to be, I don't know, moved around. And this is some buried food we just awesome. dug up and all those worms were around the food. That's some of the, uh, that's some of the extra food scraps that we got from the cafeteria that the worms like to eat. Yep, I think some worms are sort of getting... Oh, there's some right here. Ew, are you seriously touching that? Um, after the worms eat the scraps, they poop it out and it makes good composting for the... We have gardens and trees that we plant and it's free and it works a lot better than regular soil. Our soul science teacher, Mr. Snyder, helped us produce this beautiful garlic and onion garden. Which we rose up to start. With a little bit of soil, a little bit of rainwater, we have and worm castings. We have this very productive garlic and onion garden, which we will be able to use when we go to camp at the end, end of the year. We have 11 trees here. Uh, I planted it myself, and I feel like I have a special bond of taking care of it. We have, we've got our own hand dug worms inside this, and they're doing a pretty good job. This is our classroom and it is, as you can see, lit by regular light. But there's two windows and there's unneeded light coming in because those lights are still on. But within our other classroom, in there, we actually have dimmable lighting and it's a lot better and the light isn't as harsh. And if we switched all of our classrooms to dimmable lighting, we'd save over $19,000 a year. Uh, one of the main reasons neutron lighting is green because it can, when the sun's in here, the light can automatically adjust so it's just enough light that you can see. It's not too dark or not too bright because the sun. 
and also instead of having light everywhere if you're in a room by yourself you can just turn on one light and have it in that one area that you need it and the lights dim to if you have like the projector on during class and with our old lighting system we couldn't we it was too bright to see the projector or too dark to write on our home to write on our papers and with the, and with the Lutron lighting system, it's perfect because it's not too dark or too bright. It's perfect. Every time we dim the lights, it helps save money and energy. And that's a main reason why it's green also. <laughs> you should go now. Oh, Can I leave? Yeah. Yes!